I'm Dr Penny Vorm, I'm the Unit Coordinator for the Introductory Ecology course in the School of Environment at Charles Darwin University. Yeah, so introductory ecology involves considering natural um, ecosystems at three scales of consideration. We focus on population ecology, community ecology and ecosystem ecology. And part of the unit, it involves private study, attending tutorials for on-campus students, taking part in discussion boards online, uh, doing your own research, taking um, part in activities that we've developed for you to help you engage with the learning materials, but also it involves a really exciting and challenging and uh, interesting field trip where we go to savannas not far from Darwin and collect information about the attributes of um, savannah ecosystems. So the field trip um, it is really a highlight of the, the unit and unfortunately half, approximately half of our students, um, you know, I, we acknowledge are ex studying externally and, and are not able to come, although occasionally people travel from a, a long distance elsewhere in Australia to take part, which really is, is a wonderful commitment to the unit. But as I say, many, many of our students aren't able to attend. Um, so this, this is a challenge for them because they, those students who can't attend still have to use the data that's collected, but have to come to grips with how it was collected in order to understand the data that we then provide for them. So that's an extra challenge for external students. Um, I suppose the challenge for the internal students is coping with the, the heat and the potential discomfort and the hard work and the tediousness of, of um, field work, but they also get the um, exhilaration of actually collecting their own information and then analysing it. So um, yes, if, if people can attend the field trip, it's, it's a, a real highlight, I think, and a, a very empowering experience and very enjoyable experience. The first of the studies is uh, looking at the vegetation and the, we are interested in both the floristics and the structure of the vegetation and also of the ground cover. So we focus in this study um, just on trees and ground cover and we measure various aspects of that um, using various pieces of equipment and approaches. So to look at the tree layer and to look at the, um, how the trees are spaced and the, the size of the trees involved, we use the point quarter method along a 50 metre transect. So as well as looking at the trees, um, uh, that, that spacing, we also look at the canopy of the trees and we use a densiometer for that, which is a, a fairly traditional piece of equipment and there are, it's one of many ways that you can, you can do that. And that pretty much covers the information that we collect about trees. Then we focus on the ground, we look at the ground cover. So we uh, take a one metre square quadrat and look at the types of cover on the ground. And um, it varies from year to year what the students decide to collect, but uh, typically we collect information about the percent cover of grasses, the percent cover of plants other than grasses, so small herbaceous or woody, woody herbs and shrubs and um, a percent cover of litter and bare soil. Now the second study we do after the vegetation and, and transect uh, study is we look at leaf herbivory and, dis and damage. Her herbivory in Australian savannas is mainly due to invertebrates, um, not so much due to large grazing mammals as it is in Africa for example. So we and it's potentially something that could also be affected by fire. So if plants are under stress, they may be more susceptible to damage. Or if plants are turning over their leaves quite frequently, then there may be less damage um, visible on leaves. So that, that's something that we can also look at um, as an interaction with fire or a way of characterising vegetation. So we collect leaves um, from trees and do a visual assessment of the damage and try and categorise what we think has caused the damage. And then the final study is a seed predation uh, or seed dispersal study where we put species of seed collected from the study area on the ground in little seed caches um, and then look what happens to their dispersal over a 24 hour period. What we do is we come back um, at a, a frequency determined by the students in a particular year. We um, check the seed and look to see whether the seed has been removed or whether it's just remained sitting on the ground for that 24 hour period. 
so we do a little bit of just visual observation to see what's around and interested in the in the seeds. We may not be able to work out exactly why the seed has dispersed, but based on those observations and reading in the literature, we can draw some conclusions about what might be happening. At the end of the whole exercise, the students, both the internal and external students, have to write a, a research report based on those field findings, field data. Mm.